Okay, so let's make some design changes with our existing CSS3 rules. We have the section tag rule. So what I want to do here, I'm just going to give the section tag background. I'm just going to give this a different color. Let's make a dark orange color. Now, if you do a web search on my YouTube channel, you will see how we work with color separately by using the uh, class tag. So if you do a Google search, I'm sorry, do a channel search for class tag colors, and you'll come up with the videos that support that. Okay, now I don't have I don't have an article tag. I'm sorry, I don't have an article rule. I have an article tag, but I don't have an article rule. So I just want to make my article white, and the background inside the section is going to be orange. So how do I do that? Well, I select a tag and make a rule. Select a tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to get a rule for the article tag article tag specifically for the section tag. Now in general, an article tag should follow the section tag. The section tag is a container holder. It's not a div tag, although I could put something inside a div tag. It's basically article or separate news articles, stories, articles, thinking of that way. That's how it's used for search engine, for RSS feeds, that type of thing. So I just want to make my article be, let's make my article, give my article some padding here, so I'm not going to give it a width and a height because it will default to the width and the height of its parent tag, which in this particular case is the section tag. So, the way of making this particular rule is article tag, but article is inside of section tag. So, we're not going to give it a width or a height, we're just going to give this padding of say 15 pixels of padding. So, if I hit the apply option, you'll see I now have 15 pixels of padding. But what I want to do here to keep it simple, 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 I want to make the background color white. So background color white. Now my article tag is inside the section tag. The section tag has a background color of orange. Article tag has a background color of white. Now let's do something else to our section tag. I want to default my body copy inside the section tag to be white. Right now it's going to default to black. So I'm going to come over here and say white. I just simply double click the existing tag. I'm sorry, double click the existing rule. Okay, let's go to our code for a second. Actually, I do one of two things. I can go to the code to show you the placement of my text. Or if you have Dreamweaver, which I assume you do because you're watching this video, we're going to go to view and make sure under toolbar style rendering is turned on. Very important production technique. This is not on by default. So view toolbar style rendering turned on. If that's turned on, what we can do here is come up here to this icon and we can toggle and turn our CSS rules off or on. We're going to turn our CSS rules off. Now, the reason I did that because sometimes it's hard to get your content to go someplace else. It's hard to get your, your cursor inside your content. But if you turn your CSS rules off, I want to put content inside my section tag. Now, here's the section tag here. Now, this is still going to be difficult to do this inside of this type mode because I need to put my cursor inside this section. So as an example, if I put in section head of mine. It's going to be inside article tag. I don't want it to be inside article tag. So how can I fix this? Well, this technique did not work in this particular case, but sometimes your CSS gets in the way of your cursor. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the tag. We're going to select the section tag. We're going to go to the code and right here, we're going to the return key and we're going to put a uh, or let's keep this simple, okay? Let's keep this really simple. My daily log. Okay, now this doesn't have a tag. This does not have a tag. It's simply just text. I want to be 
crystal clear, crystal clear about this. This text we just inserted here does not have a tag. It's simply text, which means I can't even talk to it. So the start of each section should be an H1 tag. So we're going to command 1, control 1 for Windows, or of course I can go down here and say header 1. So this has now been tagged with header 1. Okay, so in my section here, in my section, I have this defaulted to white type. Now, white type, if it's going to be a paragraph, so as an example, if we were to come down here and make this a paragraph, then in fact it would be white. We already have a rule for the H1 tag. We have a rule for the H1 tag that's going to be this color here. So we want our H1 tag. Let's undo this command and see. We want our H1 tag to be white. So how do I do that? Okay, I want to make a rule specifically for H1 tag when H1 tag is inside of section tag. So select the tag, make a rule. I understand selecting the tag here, not section. Select the H1 tag in order to affect the tag. We need to select the tag. So I'm going to say H1 tag rule. Come over here, make a new CSS rule. So this says specifically h1 for section for section we're simply going to come here and make it white and hit the apply option so now it's white now i want to put more space between this tag and the bottom here so i'm going to go to the box section margin space is outside of the box outside of the box around the h1 tag and from the bottom let's put point seven to five M spaces. M is equal to the height of the letter M. And that's gonna put more space. Now if that's not if that's too much space, let's make this 0.55 M spaces. Okay, now for visual effects here, we want to we want to make this H1 tag give a drop shadow. So how can we do that? Well we select the rule over here. Rule with a rule selected, go to add property, and again, previous to what we've done before, we do not type into this box. Do not type into this box. We click right here, pop up menu, and we're going to type in text hyphen shadow, just like that. Okay, then based on these choices, these are my choices, I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to say two pixels, tab two pixels. Tab blur radius 2 and black, which is pound symbol 0, 0, 0. Okay, now we can't see most of the HTML5 effects for the CSS3 rules. We can see until we publish it to a browser or we go to live view. So if I go to live view, this now has a drop shadow. Okay, now by default, this has a drop shadow, even though we told not to have a drop shadow. But it's going to inherit from the parent. It's going to inherit from the parent. Okay, so this is an H1 tag. This is an H1 tag. So we want our we want our body copy to be here's a live view. So if you scroll down here, I want to see my body copy. I can't see my body copy because my body copy is white. So for the section tag, I'm sorry for the article. The tag, we're going to double click the article rule. The, the article rule, double click, and we're going to give this a black font. Okay, now this tag here is inheriting from the parent tag. So this is h1 tag inside of the section tag. Now, notice that we don't have an h1 rule for the section tag for the article tag. We don't have it article h1 rule article tag now let's keep this simple i don't want this to be too confusing so wherever the tag lives you can specifically talk to the tag inside of another tag so in this particular case we're going to put a rule for h1 h1 is inside of article okay now when h1 is an article and articles inside of section this is totally acceptable this way you know the articles inside the section tag and we hit OK. Okay, so let's make this, let's make this the same color as the section itself. 
how can we do that? We could just sample the section itself. So if we the apply option, that's now going to be the same color as the section. So it's a nice contrast. Pretty cool technique. Make a change, save a change. Now if we go to live view, it's going to inherit that drop shadow. And unless we change that. So how would we change that? We would have to go and create a rule for the drop shadow and offset it to zero. We're not going to do that in this video. I just want to keep the, the, the concept simple. So we'll move forward in our next video. I just want to keep these videos short. This way you can basically just log through them without scrubbing through them. I'm going to try to be as descriptive as possible inside of the title and inside of the descriptive tag. So this way you can enjoy the video at your leisure. Talk to you soon. Carpe diem. Thanks.